So what is a post course? I think the easiest way to think of a post course is to sort of think of it as a chorus after party. It sort of takes the party that the chorus was and keeps it going. It's a little different now, but it mostly keeps up the energy and keeps the fun going for just a little bit longer. Another way to think of a post course is sort of like the encore of a show. You've watched your favorite band play live, you're all excited, and then they leave the stage and you're still cheering, and then they come back on to continue the party for just a little bit longer. So if you think about the name post chorus, it means after chorus, right? So it's something that is intrinsically attached to the chorus. Even though it might lead back into a verse, it's not a pre-verse. Even though it might lead into a bridge, it's not a pre-bridge, right? It's a post chorus. It is an extension of the chorus. So the tendency of a post chorus is it tends to maintain the energy of the chorus. So when I say it feels like an extension of the chorus, it doesn't change song section really. It often keeps even the same exact chord progression. Very often it ends up having a basic lead or melody part. In pop music, it's it's often a synth lead part that comes in and sort of takes over, or sometimes it's a single repeated line over and over and over again. For example, the What Are You Doing To Me section of Charlie Puth's Attention would be an example of a post-chorus. And the difference between a post-chorus and what one might call a chorus two is that a chorus two is really a whole different song section. It might even have a different chord progression than the chorus. It certainly adds more lyrical content, certainly more than a post-chorus would. A post-chorus usually adds very, very little lyrical content. It tends to be more of a repeated hook. So a chorus two should feel like a whole new song section that can stand on its own. You could just skip the first chorus and go straight into chorus two, or you could go from the bridge and then play chorus two instead of chorus one. It's not necessarily something that requires the original chorus, but in the case of a post chorus, a post chorus usually would sound really, really weird without coming directly after the chorus. If you enjoyed this video or learned something, be sure to drop a like on this video. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're interested in learning more about songwriting, be sure to download my free guide on 10 different ways to start writing a song. It gives you five different ways to start writing a song from a lyrical standpoint and five different ways to start writing a song from a musical standpoint because it's really helpful to change up how we start our songs and utilize different instruments, different sounds, different strategies, for songwriting because otherwise if we do the same thing over and over, our songs are going to tend to start to sound the same. We don't wanna do that. We don't wanna be locked in a box. So be sure to download that free guide. It's at songwritertheory.com slash free guide. Link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time.